All right, guys, just a quick update on Coco Coin. Pretty late here, so I'm going to make it quick. But uh, we can see we are still holding the trend line pretty nicely. Okay, it does look like we're trying to make some wicks towards the upside here on the four hour as well. So uh, if we are just going to pattern this, right, if we're going for a pattern here, what I will say is, uh, yeah, there is a beautiful kind of wedge channel-y structure. And uh, if we can actually get out of that, then uh, it's looking very much like we break out. We break up to 15, which will be massive, all right? Uh, currently still ho hovering around the 43 mil market cap range. That's pretty good for me, okay? After a big pump like this, consolidation makes sense. And still holding structure is also fantastic. So overall, Coco Coin looking pretty decent, okay? They are actually sponsoring uh, this Blockchain Week event as well for Binance in Dubai, which is fantastic. This is something that you want to see any new big project do, okay? Google Cloud are sponsoring this. Okay, Particle Network are sponsoring this. And uh, yeah, my phone just brought up Gemini then. Great. <laughs> uh, and we're seeing, yeah, some pretty big sponsors and Coco Coin in line with all those other sponsors. So yeah, they must be spending money on this. Um, and yeah, looking like a pretty decent project so far. Okay, no dump. We've been covering this for two weeks now. No dump, like that's significant. Okay, uh, still above that 40K region. 5 million in liquidity is pretty nice as well. So uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Let's see how we do this week. Does seem to be uh, correlated or coupled a little bit with the rest of the market as well. So if Bitcoin does want to pump this week and it is looking a lot more bullish towards this election, the Bitcoin pumps. Uh, yeah, I do imagine this breaking out as well. And then uh, we just we just watch it go from there. We just fly with it. We ride it. All right. So, uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this. Oh, no, we're only halfway through. <laughs> we are looking at this. Let's get the, the website back up again, guys. Uh, just a reminder for you. You can actually uh, get referrals on this thing. I'm not doing it because I'm just here to kind of inform you. But you can have a referrals here if you do want to post it in your groups and actually earn from people that do buy it, which is pretty decent. OK, uh, and another thing on their website I noticed, which a lot of big projects do do from the start is they've added various different languages. Right. So you've got China here. You've got uh, what, this is Japan or Korea. One of them. They're both <laughs> Japan and Korea. Right. Uh, and then we got Russian and then we got Spanish as well. So, uh, yeah, big, big stuff with the languages there. Good stuff coming through. If we are looking at um, let's just take a look here. Hmm. Hmm, tokenomics again. Let's just whack it up. Okay, we can see that, yes, uh, airdrop, they did 80%. Okay, I believe they are doing another airdrop as well. Uh, they've got initial liquidity at 10% and marketing at 9%, but they got added liquidity from Binance Chain, if you guys remember that, right? So fantastic stuff there. Um, I was trying to find their audit. I was trying to find their audit. Where did that go? Ah, yes, audit here. So uh, if we do scroll down and just take a look at what the socials are doing. OK, so, yeah, we did get some pretty decent growth last week over the weekend has just been kind of going sideways, but still getting that activity. Right. Uh, Telegram activity monitor is extremely active. That is something you want to see. Uh, and from that point, yeah, we're just going to see if this can continue to grow. This is one of the best indicators uh, of a decent project if their socials are growing organically. Right. So uh, looking pretty good so far. Let's just see if this continues. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Hamilton. <laughs> Sorry, guys, super hungover, but um, hopefully this video gave you some uh, some value. Just a little update on that. I'll do a Bitcoin update tomorrow because that's when we get the new on-chain data. So uh, keep a lookout for that. See you in a bit.